How to finance a vehicle in your business. Do you want to finance a vehicle in your business? Well, of course you do. It's probably a Ford Ranger just like every other bloody Aucklander. Here are seven things to think about before you sign your name on the dotted line. Number one, what's the term? What's the actual length of this loan? And what are the repayments each month? How will that impact your cash flow each repayment of the loan? Number two, interest rates. You'll be surprised how many clients don't know the interest rate that they're paying on their loan. Perhaps you could find a cheaper interest rate by talking directly to the bank rather than the car yard. Have you checked your options? Number three, can you repay early? Often in business, we ramp up our income and then we want to use that money, after paying our tax of course, to pay down some debt. Well, can you actually do that or will you be charged a premium to do that? Number four, do you pay the GST back and when do you pay the GST back? Any finance may be guessing that you are going to claim the GST back on this vehicle too and they're going to want you to pay that in month one two or three even four so that will bring the loan value down have a look and make sure you understand the loan terms so that if you have to pay the GST back early it doesn't become a surprise to you number five it does not decrease your tax straight away remember that assets like vehicles depreciate over time. You don't go buy a $100,000 vehicle and it decreases your profit by $100,000. That's not how it works. Assets depreciate over time and the depreciation is the expense that brings your profit down, meaning you pay less tax. Number six, balloon payments. What about the balloon payment at the end of the loan? Have a think and have a look and see if it's in the loan structure. Have a think about whether these are in your agreement and if you're going to need to finance that at the end or make that payment. Lastly, number seven, fringe benefit tax. We wouldn't be an accountant without mentioning FBT. So seek advice from your accountant before you go out there and buy a vehicle because it could trigger FBT. You'll thank us if you go through this process and these seven simple steps before you buy your next vehicle.